Hey, hello everyone and hello YouTube. This is Mia, your daily news broadcaster signing in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain for today. Now, on this video guys, we'll be talking about the EOS token. But before we go there, I would like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program here. Alright, so um, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, this system uses its own currency called the Q, and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now guys, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free, which will only be needing your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, in the description, I have included my own special limited invite link. Now, guys, the link shown will stop working once we're out of free invites. So, click it now and don't get left behind on this one. Alright, so uh, moving forward, let's go to the article. On EOS May 4, standby block producers to participate in consensus. EOS creator Dan Larimer has made a statement that proposes changes to EOS' current block producer model. In brief, these changes would force standby block producers to contribute to the network regularly. In a discussion on EOSGo.io, Larimer wrote, quoting, I am starting to think that the Steam model, where the 21st producer is rotated in, makes more sense then they only get paid per block produced. I would probably rotate once per hour, end quote. EOS currently relies on 21 block producers, which are elected by EOS token holders to validate the blockchain. These block producers provide blockchain consensus and supply computing power for the entire EOS network. In return, they are compensated with EOS tokens. In addition to those 21 block producers, several others are kept on standby and they are paid to be ready to contribute to the network when needed. However, there is currently no way to tell if standby block producers are actually able to provide the resources that the EOS network needs. Larimer's Solution Larimer's suggestion involves requiring each standby block producer to temporarily serve as EOS 21st node producer, a measure which would prove all standby block producers have nodes ready to take over. This is the model used by Steam, another blockchain that Larimer is, created, is the creator of. EOS Network, a block producer from the, for the platform, noted that Larimer's suggestion was in fact originally planned for EOS. However, Larimer reportedly told EOS New York that the plan for a rotating block producer was removed because the feature would introduce inefficiencies in their inter blockchain communication. Now, it seems that the decision is instead taking a toll on EOS' overall performance. It's not clear whether Larimer actually intends to implement his new proposal. Recently, rumors have begun to circulate that Larimer will be leaving EOS and its parent company, Block.1. Although this is not entirely true, it seems that Larimer will indeed be focusing on other projects. This means that his proposed change to EOS may not be made after all. Past performance problems. Although it is impossible to tell whether any given standby block producer is 
unqualified, problems with inactive block producers have arisen in the past. Some block producers perform inconsistency and others intermittently fail to produce blocks or provide resources. This is a serious issue that can do temporary damage to EAS performance or consensus. There are, however, checks in place. Dead block producers are currently removed for after 24 hours of inactivity and users can vote to remove block producers if necessary. But in practice, these measures are not always efficient. If Larimer's exact suggestion is not implemented, it seems that inactive block producers and missed blocks are a common enough problem that a solution will be introduced on EOS at some point. All right. So, guys, that was for the article about the EOS token. Now, what can you say with us? Or with this article, rather? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. And, of course, you guys can have your own copy of this article and on our newsletter simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news. Here. Now, once you're in the website, all you have to do is scroll down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis. Or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. All right. So let's go. And let's take a look at um, our newsletter. So here it is. Included in each issue are the articles featured for the day. And we have here different links to websites that you guys will be interested to look into. Now, we're not going to go through all of these links. I will just leave all this uh, discovery to you guys once you become a subscriber of our newsletter. Now, we'll just skip through these things here and we'll go through the best part um, once you subscribe to our newsletter. Now, this is Donald's research list. Now, here, guys, on each issue, each uh, subscriber can get the chance to see Donald's personal research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. These are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and also invites you to do the same if you like to. So here, let's go and take a look at um, Donald's research list. So here it is, guys. Now this is his analysis for the day. Now as we can see, the Google Sheet is composed of different kinds of colors. Now we should take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, Yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. Now, we highly recommend that you guys should focus more on the um, green and blue highlighted cells or tokens since they are giving out positive feedback about the specific cryptocurrency. There. And also, you can have your own copy of Donald's research list uh, simply by clicking on the word file here on the upper left corner. Click make a copy. Um, now you can rename the document if you want to and then after that click OK so that you can have your own version which you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research. You can also add columns, personal notes and information to your own file copy. There. Okay, so um, let's go back to the newsletter. Okay, so um, Below Donald's research list is, we will also be seeing other list of coins or tokens that has high volume change, interesting technical price action, high weekly trade volume, high Google search activity, and the uh, blockchain activity matrix. And also, we have the affiliate program to all those crypto lovers out there, where you guys can become an affiliate for preferredcurrency.news and earn your crypto each month. Now... You can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. But here, you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but rather do it as private messages only after you have chatted with a friend 
or owner of another channel or account. Now, it's very easy to enroll. All you have to do is click on this image here on your copy of the newsletter, or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news and click on the affiliate tab on the upper right corner. Enroll to your first blog. There you can earn your crypto. It's so easy, guys. And uh, if you have other questions, you're always free to contact the publisher since he really wants to connect with you personally. Now, you can contact Donald the Guru through the following phone number at 1-801-601-8105, WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939, telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can also follow him on twitter at preferred crypto also you guys um can sorry that you can contact donald on skype through donald.fcda there okay so let's go back to the newsletter where we also have training on how to use your preferred currency spreadsheet simply just click on this link here for our youtube channel which is called preferred currency news and our subscribers can also follow us on our private subscribers um twitter for um which is at preferred crypto for alerts and updates between issues you can also email us to let us know your Twitter so we know how to approve you. And we also invite other YouTube channels out there to freely review and analyze our data. We hope that you embrace our affiliate program. Okay, so um, that's it. Now we also have featuring here, guys, the sum of the upcoming EOS airdrops. Now, um, some that we have here is the Pause Reward Drop on EOS, the Tuk Tuk, and the Kadaias that I own. Now, all of the information and details regarding this airdrops is posted here or is stated here in our issue of our newsletter. So, guys, you can always stay tuned and be updated for more upcoming EOS airdrops simply by subscribing to our newsletter for only 15 US dollars per month. Again, go to the website preferredcurrency.news and click on the PayPal button there. All right, so all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and information only and not to be considered advice. We highly recommend that you do your own final research in order for you to make decisions for yourself. Now guys, this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online today. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily news broadcaster signing off and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.